Chapter 105 When Alex saw how arrogant Mr. Lane was, he sneered as he shook his head in disdain. You can't even tell the difference between a gore and a jade plug? Haven't you heard of the eight orifices or the jade plugs that were used on corpses? What do you mean by jade plugs and corpses? Mr. Lane asked with a confused expression on his face. Alex sighed. A child cannot be taught. After that, he shook his head before saying, You don't even know this? Have you heard of the eight aperture jade? What eight aperture jade? Mr. Lane asked as he stared at Alex with a blank expression on his face. Even though Mr. Lane really enjoyed purchasing antiques, he had never spent any time studying any of his antiques at all. He would always buy whatever anyone said was good before going out to brag about his antique pieces. Idiot, Alex sneered before he continued speaking. The eight aperture jade consists of eight jade plugs that were used by people to plug the eight orifices of dead people. The first six orifices can be found in the ears, nose, mouth, and eyes, whereas the last two orifices are our genital and excretory opening. Dead people. Mr. Lane asked with his mouth wide open. He glanced at the chalcedony pendant that was hanging around his neck in disbelief. Suddenly, he could feel goosebumps all over his body. Was this chalcedony pendant really taken from a dead body? Alex continued mocking him. It seems as though you really do not know what I am talking about. The chalcedony pendant in your hand is actually a jade plug that was used to plug the excretory hole of a dead person. I cannot believe that you have been wearing it around your neck all this time. Don't you find it stinky at all? Mr. Lane was speechless as he continued staring at the chalcedony gourd pendant in his hand. He suddenly felt nauseated and had a strong urge to puke. This was a jade plug that had been stuffed into the buttocks of a dead person? And to think he had actually hung it around his neck and treated it like a piece of treasure for the past two years. What was even worse was the fact that he would always place the piece of jade in his mouth because he loved it so much. Wasn't he tasting the excretory hole of a corpse? Oh! Mr. Lane could not hold it in any longer and he bent over as he started to vomit. The crowd of onlookers who had gathered to watch the scene was now casting mocking glances at him. Some of them were even gloating and making fun of him for being so blind. How could anyone be so foolish to spend so much money on purchasing such an evil thing? Not letting up so quickly, Alex continued speaking. Also, this jade piece that is hanging around your neck has already soaked the chi in the corpse for a long time, thus, it is no longer a piece of jade that is auspicious or brings good luck. In fact, it contains a very evil aura now. If you continue to wear it around your neck, you will definitely die within a six months. As soon as he had spoken those words, the crowd took a few steps back immediately, fearing that the evil aura within that jade would contaminate them. Sherlin, who had initially been standing next to Mr. Lane, also moved to the other corner of the stall. Even though he was a swindler, he could tell that Alex's words were not groundless. Mr. Lane was also very frightened at this time and could only stare at Alex with a blank look on his face. The expression on Alex's face was very cold and indifferent as he snorted. Has this been a very disastrous year for you? Did you get involved in any bloody situations or car accidents? Mr. Lane stared at Alex as his mind went over the events of the past year. He had indeed experienced a very bad fortune this year. In fact, he had been involved in a major car accident at the start of the year. If it were not for his crash-resistant car that day, he would have been dead a long time ago. His driver had been killed on the spot in that car accident. As for Mr. Lane, he had broken four of his ribs and had had to be hospitalized for more than a month before he was finally allowed to go home. Mr. Lane began breaking out in cold sweat. Without wasting any time, he pulled the chalcedony pendant off his neck before throwing it to the ground. The crowd backed away quickly to avoid contact with the pendant. Alex could only sneer as he looked at the disturbed expression on Mr. Lane's face. If he had not given him this reminder today, Mr. Lane would definitely be dead within six months. Who are you? 
gritting his teeth, Mr. Lane glared at Alex. This person knew too much information about him. Had he been sent here by an enemy? I am someone that you cannot afford to offend, 